What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about a game that is near and dear to my heart and it might surprise you but it is the shooter. This game is Death Smiles 1 and 2 on the PS4. So when this game first came out I wasn't aware of it. I've just recently become acquainted with it and I thought self I'm not going to have to drag out the Xbox every time I want to play Death Smiles. And I never did get around to playing Death Smiles 2. I am an old school Death Smiles fan. And to prove it, I've got the old box collection here. You know, come out on the 360 about years ago. Came with this cool little faceplate. You know, you could change out the front of your 360s back in the day. I never did put it on there, of course. But just as a collectible item, I've kept it around. So Death Smiles 1 I am extremely familiar with. So on this compilation disc having 1 and 2 I thought hey that's awesome you know. Anyway, Death Smiles 1 was an extreme disappointment on this. They have cropped out the original aspect ratio which I don't know what the original aspect ratio is. If you look on the Death Smiles 2 footage on this uh, video you'll see Whatever that is, it's not a true 16 by 9, but it's somewhere close. That's what the original Death Smiles was. Well, this version of Death Smiles on this game, on this compilation, is cropped in. As you can see from the footage I'm showing you, it being cropped in makes it way more difficult to dodge the enemy bullets and stuff. I died more in this game than I ever have in the original just because the play area was so shrunk down. I couldn't navigate the bullets as easily. Now, I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself by critiquing the game really already without really describing the game, but there's really not much to even talk about the game as far as the game goes. The game is just a shooter. You fly along, blowing the crap out of stuff, all that. The difference in Death Smiles 1 and 2 is Death Smiles 1 is a Halloween theme, a lot darker, more gruesome, all that kind of job. Um, Death Smiles 2 is more of a Christmas theme. Of course, you don't have Santa Claus, you have Satan Claus. So, a little bit different, but the graphics in the second one aren't quite as good as they are in the first one. That's kind of crazy saying that the first one is from the 360 era and the new one is not like modern. It's, it is a little bit later in the 360's lifestyle, uh, life cycle. But still, the graphics were a lot better in the first one. Now, to be a sequel of Death Smiles 2, a lot of the enemies from the first one carried over into the second one. They're not all there, but quite a few of them there. The, there's really no depth to the game as far as weapons. You don't really upgrade stuff. You don't really improve stuff on either of the game. You just have what you have. If you hold down on the fire button, you... uh your little owl creature that follows you around, he just fires continuously, or he fires a little homing deal that goes around and hits enemies. If you mash the button over and over and over, they'll both just fire straight shots. With each different enemy type, each different way of firing has its benefits and disadvantages, so you really just gotta kinda play along with that and see which one works best for you. Um, kinda, well really staying on the game itself. Okay, the game itself, you have like three levels of gameplay with each one of them. And with the first being the easiest, second, third, you know, the difficulty ramps up and up and up. Like you'll see in the video that I'm doing here, it's mainly just the first level of play. And it's, you know, it's pretty easy. But as you go into the second and third, it gets pretty tough. It is a cave bullet hell shooter, but it's not as bad as most cave games are. You do feel like you have a fighting chance in this game of destroying the enemy. Um, despite what I said about the first game, this is still a good compilation to pick up and play, especially if you've never played Death Smiles. If you've played the original, it's going to be tough for you to dig the original version on here like it is me, but the second one is on here as well, like I said, and it is in a good aspect ratio, so it's a lot easier to play. Um, Neither one of them are awesome, awesome shooters that'll go down in the annals of history as one of the best shooters ever made, but they're really solid. And they're really good. Um, there could be more depth with both of them, but they are what they are. 
Now I will say with Death Smiles 2, you do have a lot more options in it as far as the modes go. You have an arcade mode, you have a home mode, you have challenge modes, all that kind of stuff. Where Death Smiles 1 is a little bit more vanilla, it's just kind of a straight up shooter. Um, but like I say, if you are a shooter fan and you have access to a 360 or an Xbox One, Death Smiles 1 is far better on those consoles than it is on this PS4 compilation. So I, I personally would prefer to play, you know, Death Smiles 1 on one of those consoles as I would this PS4 version. But uh, nevertheless, guys, that's really all I got to say about those two games. There's not a lot you can say about this shooter because it is just kind of a generic shooter, but it is fun. So it's definitely worth a look. Anyway, guys, uh, that'll about do it for this one. Just a short one. Just kind of let you know about the game. And you guys have a good one. Later.